It's time, time, time. She's spilling the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, last week, Meek Mill put out some new music uh, calling Sharing Locations with Lil Durk and Lil Baby, and now he has dropped Blue Notes 2 featuring Lil Uzi Vert. Okay, nice little Philly John. Mm -hmm. Now, Uh someone tweeted, what's the chance of an album? And he said, like a matter of days. So, Is it John's because it's Uzi and Philly? So would it be two John's? That's plural. Or just one John. Two Philly John's on a John? Mm. Either way, I like the John. Mm -hmm. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> All right, now let's get to R. Kelly and his trial. What happened yesterday, an ex-employee of R. Kelly's took the stand, and her name is Suzette Mayweather. She said she spent more than a year as an assistant for him, and she said that the women involved had been twerking for cake, and they were trying to twerk, I guess, as an attempt to get a piece of dessert, and he had to have them get on each other. He also then, I guess, made them fight. She said she did not actually see the fight, but she heard a commotion. There was laughing, screaming, and thumping going on. And then there was a situation. She said he was a terrible boss. He would fine his employees by docking their pay. One time he called her at 2 a.m. and said he wanted some sweet potato pie. She went in an Uber uh, to Walmart, and she purchased all of the Patti LaBelle sweet potato pies, bought the desserts back to the studio, and she said uh, he thought that she was likely going to fail the test. Initially, he was happy, but then she said his mood shifted because he learned that she had violated the rules established by talking to one of his girlfriends. She said he got so angry, and it was the first time ever that she'd seen him really upset. It was the look in his eyes. And then she also talked about different allegations, like he would force girls to stay in the rooms for extended periods of time, and they needed his permission to eat, use the bathroom, get off of the tour bus. Also, uh, one of the rules was no one could speak to his girlfriends regarding his relationship with them. So that's what her situation was like. So she just recently took the stand. And that is the fourth employee of R. Kelly's to take the stand against him. Thus far, all of his employees have provided details on the rules that were set in the house for R. Kelly and his girlfriends when they were in his presence. Yikes. Yes. All right. Now, let's talk about, you know, I love a little horror movie, so Paranormal Activity. There is a documentary heading to Paramount Plus for Halloween, and there's also an upcoming movie. So I'm excited about all this. I'm excited that Halloween is coming up. Envy, we know your car show is the day before Halloween Mm -hmm. in Detroit. Out in Detroit, yep. But I'm excited for all the scary movies that are going to be shown on all these streaming services. I've been thinking about going to see Candyman. I usually don't pay people to to scare me. My wife loves horror movies, but I'm thinking about going to see Candyman. Yeah, man. I was so busy last week, I didn't get a chance to go see it. But the fact that a black woman directed it should also yeah, be encouraging to help keep those numbers up. Mm-hmm. And this week, I'm definitely going to go see it. So. And, and somebody's telling me that, that there's a deeper meaning behind it. So I don't know if they're just lying to me <laughs> to get me to go watch it, but they said there's a deeper meaning behind it. Go ahead and say Candyman five times in the mirror and see nope, what happens. I don't, I don't mind other people's business. Me neither. Keep that man's name on my mouth. But... <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I Nothing. thought there was more coming no, after that. No, there's not. <laughs> What's it? All right. Okay. All right. Elaine Welteroth is exiting the talk after just one season. Y'all know she had just joined the show. And they said, we wish Elaine the best. We are grateful for her passion, enthusiasm, and insight she brought to the show daily. She started January 4th, 2021. She was a permanent panelist. Uh, and she was the one. She had uh, some issues with Sharon Osbourne. There was a leaked conversation that she had after their on-air exchange, and she went on social media. She said, if you told Oprah obsessed nine-year-old me that she'd one day get the golden opportunity to be on daytime TV, she never would have believed you. It is an absolute honor for anyone, but especially a young black woman, to occupy this space on air where our perspectives are largely underrepresented. And to be honest, if you told 33-year-old me all it would take to show up as her authentic self in front of a live national audience every day in a world as divided as ours, she probably would have been shook. At this point, they should just have rotating guests on the talk, right? Like, who's the, who's the people that's there on the regular? Cheryl Underwood. Cheryl Underwood. Who else? Um, Dara. Not Dara. What's the uh, young lady from Roseanne name? She's still on there? I don't know if she's Sarah she's Gilbert? Still, yeah, she's still on there. I don't know. At this point, I don't know we either. should have rotated. <laughs> I don't know either. I don't, I, and Jerry O'Connell is on. Yeah? Yeah. When that happened? I didn't know they had guys on the talk. Yeah, they replaced uh, Sharon Osbourne, remember? Mm. So. Yeah, at this point, they should just do Cheryl and have some And then Eve hosts. left. Eve's gone. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, Bonnaroo, that festival has been canceled this year. And that's because, you know, it's in Tennessee. 
And last year it was canceled, obviously, because of the pandemic. But this year it's because of the weather. While the weather this weekend, they said, looks outstanding, right now it's waterlogged in many areas and saturated. And the campgrounds are flooded to the point that they can't even drive in or park vehicles safely. So there has been, you know, a whole bunch of rain because of Tropical Storm Ida moving there the previous weekend. Bonnaroo's a festival, too? Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo? Mm-hmm. How many festivals is it? It's this a one's been around. festivals. There's a lot of festivals. <laughs> it's like near Nashville. It's about an hour, I think, about an hour away from Nashville. Mm. All right, well, that is your rumor report. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. Shout out to everybody uh, on Revolt. We'll see you tomorrow. Everybody else, the People's Choice mixes up next. Let's go. We'll be right back.